My mother's an 83 year old MDS patient. That's myeloidoplastic syndrome. That's a rare blood disease. When she was diagnosed here at Oak Forest Hospital seven years ago. Because of the severity of my mother's disease, she has to be admitted in the hospital every four weeks for a blood transfusion. If Oak Forest, because of her, because of her severity of her illness, she has to be admitted quite often. And if Oak Forest was to close this hospital, inpatient care, it would be a disaster. How could you transport an elderly woman who can barely sit up from the south suburb all the way to the west side of Chicago, then once you get there and have to wait 28 hours to see a doctor? To give you an example of how overcrowded Stroger Hospital is, I have a friend that is a nurse, but she now only can work part-time because she is a kidney patient on dialysis. And just last week, she got sick and had to go to the emergency room. She told me she got to Stroger's at 10 p.m. on Wednesday night. And at 6 a.m. Thursday morning, she was put on a gurney and then waited one hour, 1, 1 a.m., I'm sorry, Friday morning before she finally got admitted to a room. Now this here is inhumane. And they don't want to add more people to the emergency room by closing Providence and Oak Forest ER room. There may be some budget issues, but some service as critical care service should not be touched. Especially because we are talking about human lives. Can I, you said 10 p.m. Wednesday? Yes. Thursday, she was put on a gurney at what time? She was put on a gurney at 1, um, at 6 a.m. Thursday. 6 a.m. And, and she did not get to her room until 1 a.m. Friday morning. That's more than 28 hours. And that's in, in humane. Now, this is America. If we can help other nations in their hours of need, surely we can have compassion for our own people and not treat the poor worse than an animal. The unemployed rate is over 10% in Illinois, and a lot of these people recently lost their unemployment benefits. I know because my sister herself is one of them. And she and a lot of these people live in the south suburb. This is not a time to cut these critical service. This is the time to help people in time of need. Thank you.